Hello, my name's Michael Keneally and this video is about the lunar eclipse of the 5th of July 2020 and it's one of the add-on videos for my July Star Wheel Astrology and Healing newsletter. Uh, so the main newsletter is you know, a considerable presentation of the astrology of July and the other add-on is a very major piece, a video and a blog about the eclipse of the 14th of December because I believe that will produce a very adverse effect on Donald Trump's mind and mental stability following the presidential election with very serious consequences. So see the other two parts, the July uh, astrology summary, which is very considerable, and the 14th of December Eclipse video and blog as well. So this uh, video and blog are about the lunar eclipse of the 5th of July. And actually, I think this energy will be pretty violent. The first reason I'd say that, and time will tell, is because Chiron and Mars are square the nodal axis of this eclipse. You can see the Western chart and the Vedic chart for this eclipse in my Star Wheel Astrology website, the July 2020 page. There's a page presenting the charts and ephemeris in Western and Vedic Astrology for each month of the year. So you can have a look at that. Um, so I would say that to have Mars Chiron square the eclipse's nodal axis will highlight aggressiveness and violence. Mars will have just transited past uh, Chiron in the heavens and so there could be a, a, a wound to the way Mars will be manifesting um, you know, maybe overreaction and too violent and maybe not able to own and manage rightful Martian assertion that we all need. So there could be quite a tense turmoil in that Mars Chiron, which is square the nodal axis of the eclipse. Um, so... As with all the extremely difficult astrology of 2020, and it will not get better this year of 2020, it will get worse, you know, because of the events around the December the 14th eclipse. Um, we have to manage our consciousness, we have to manage our minds. We have to do things to keep embodied and strong and balanced and it depends which method is right for you. I use quite a lot of embodiment techniques and vision work but I know that alternate nostril breathing can be quite good and centering. You know it, it depends on your nature what will keep you centered, strong and connected to your proper persona, your proper life purpose, your proper way of life, your ideal ashram in this life. So the moon, the full moon of this eclipse is actually in Purva Ashada Nakshatra in Vedic Sagittarius. And I don't think it makes it more gentle because Purvashada is about strength and victory, invincibility, smashing anything in their way, proud, independent energy, obstinate and can't be affected by others. The symbol for Purvashada Nakshatra is the fan denoting superiority. And remember, Moon is in Vedic Sagittarius conjunct Ketu, Jupiter and Pluto. Don't underestimate the 
awesome power of the Jupiter-Pluto conjunction. Don't underestimate what K2 can do to the Moon in bringing hissy fits, violent episodes, that type of thing. And opposite, of course, is the Sun. So the Sun is at 20 Gemini and it's in Ardhra well, Ardra Nakshatra is a tunneled vision, toughy energy on the whole. Ardra Nakshatra is ruled by Rahu. Ardra Nakshatra is an energy of tragedy. So I would say, and I'm speaking on the 1st of July, it would be wise to take the 5th of July and the days either side steady. If you notice your mind is getting really stirred up by this eclipse, then do things to embody and find calm and rightful strength. We have an exceptional number of eclipses in the year 2020. They are listed on the 2020 page of my Star Wheel Astrology website <coughs> and indeed on the July page of my Star Wheel Astrology website. There's so much aggression and revolution and danger that it's almost possible to cease proper management of our mind and our life, we can become accustomed to sort of war zone energies. Obviously it'll vary on the individual person's chart in relation to all the uh, 2020 eclipses um, and it'll depend on what country one is in. Um, obviously the United States is very lost at the moment in much agitation because it needs social reset, because it needs new social and spiritual vision. But the way it's going about it, of course, is to go into turmoil, which this eclipse will do nothing to reduce. But the divine intention when we human beings have to face turmoil is that we learn from the turmoil what's not right and what's not working. And so we bring in the needed light, the needed raising of consciousness and yes, the needed revolution. So I hope this summary has been useful and helpful. And I wish you a stable management of the 5th of July eclipse. Thank you.